Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan In this video we're going to understand how to handle the exception in Spring Boot application So when I say exception consider we are already created what you know the customer application we added few customers into what you know our database right so when i get what you know the customer list i can get what you know all the customer right so let me get what you know the specific customer by passing the id since we have already api in place so we can get what the specific customer id consider so what happen if i request the customer which is not present in the database so if you run it so you will you'll end up with what you know some errors now if you look at it the status code actually says what you know 500 which it seems to be what you know internal server exception so when you go to what you know the application and see the log you can see that you know there is exception is occurred it says clearly that there no value present in the database right so now we going to understand how to handle this situation in our spring boot application so now let's stop this application i'm actually going to create one package called exception exception so inside the package i'm going to create one class called customer not found exception very simple so now you can see that we created the class under this package now this class has to extends the exception called runtime exception so here i'm going to create the constructor which actually going to take the string message as an argument i'm going to say that super of password you know the message that we have right so now we created what in you know, a simple customer not found exception which extends what you know runtime exception now i'm going to annotate this exception class as what you know response status in the response status i'm going to say what you know the http status code equal to not found right so very simple so i'm going to say what this exception it's associated with what you know 404 error right so when you say http status dot not found so that's nothing but what you know the 404 error right so now in my customer CMS, cms application so where we are handling all the customer you know fetching everything so we are handling and what you know the customer service class right so go to what you know customer service class here if you look at it we have what you know this method so if you look at it we have what you know the customer get customer method which takes customer id as an argument so now i'm just simply going to introduce one specific logic it's going to say that if the customer so let me actually what you know copy this logic right i'm gonna put the logic somewhere here okay i'm gonna remove the get method right so i'm gonna say that let me put it in right what you know the optional so it's going to read in what you know optional so i'm gonna say what in you know, optional customer right so i'm gonna say what optional customer let me save this I'm going to pass this optional customer dot get method, right? So here, what we're going to do, so here, what we're going to do, we actually, what, you know, storing this information into what, you know, this optional customer reference variable. Now, what I'm going to do, if the optional customer, if the optional customer is, is not present in the sense, I'm simply going to throw an exception such as customer not found exception by passing what customer record is not available right let me save this let me simply run this application we'll see what's going to happen here we go our application is started uh, successfully now go to what you know our postman i'm going to simply request let me request what you know the full customer list make sure that you know the data still is available yes we have only four record we don't have the customer id with the 50 so i'm going to pass what in the customer id which is not available previously we used to receive what you know 500 and now we received what you know four and four over four error which is not found and it clearly says that you know customer record is not available so this is how you can handle the exception so if you go to what you know the application side you can see what you know there is no internal error at all